hydrolysis is something that can happen if we have a salt, not necessarily table salt, but a salt, um, and in that salt there's a weak acid or a weak base that's kind of hiding. Um, so a refresher on what salts are. Salt, um, in order for it to be a salt, we are going to first, before you get like stuck, um, to check if something's a salt, make sure that it's not already an acid or a base that you know. So not an acid or a base, right? You know the strong acids and strong bases, and you have a pretty comprehensive chart for weak acids and weak bases. Um, so if it's not an acid or a base, and we're asked to find the pH of something, we should see if it's a salt. Um, a salt will be made of a metal and a non-metal. So metals are things to the left of the staircase on the periodic table, other than hydrogen. Non-metals are things to the right of the staircase, including hydrogen, even though it's on the left. Um, and in place of that metal or that non-metal or both, we can substitute in polyatomic ions. Um, so for example, NH4, NO3, both are polyatomic ions, that would be a salt. It's not an acid or a base that we know, but it does have a metal and a non-metal, meaning two polyatomic ions. Um, right. So an example, uh, I could ask you, are the following salts, which I wouldn't do on the test, but are important, are an important skill for you moving forward. Um, so a few examples, NH4Cl, HCl, and H3PO4. Okay, NH4Cl, not an acid or a base that I've memorized, so it's not a strong acid or base. You could look on the chart if you wanted. It's not on the KAKB chart. Um, or ideally you just recognize NH4, that's a polyatomic ion. Cl, that's non-metal. So yes, this is a salt. HCl, not a salt because it's a strong acid. H3PO4, it starts with the H. That gives me a pretty good idea that it's gonna be an acid. It's not one of the strong ones. But if you look on your chart, it is not a salt because it's a weak acid. Okay, you'll practice some of those. Um, if you want to pause here and go do that practice now, you can. But I, otherwise, I'm going to add on a little bit more. Okay, so dissociating salts. Um, when we dissociate salts, that's going to be another instance of using a single arrow, not an equilibrium arrow. So strongs and salts, single arrow, is like a stupid way of remembering it. Strong acids and bases, strongs, and salts, we use a single arrow. Why that matters, when we're doing any math, single arrow mean that we can use mole ratios rather than ice charts. Um, so an example for you, NH4Cl, we already decided in this video was a salt. When I dissociate that salt, it's always just going to be into two pieces, two ions, a positive ion and a negative ion. So NH4, that's a polyatomic ion, and Cl, which is a minus one ion, that's how I dissociate that salt. Okay, now you're going to go try first identifying if things are salts or not, and then dissociating them.